someone commented on um, one of my social media streams that they were envious because they thought that I had found my niche, that I had found my my spot, you know, in the world of artistic creations. And um, it gave me pause because I'm thinking, my niche, you know, what is that? I remember many years ago thinking something like that, something along those lines. And now fast forward to today, I don't think like that at all. And I understand, uh, I understand it in a different way. And that's the purpose of, um, of this talk. So no artist really needs to find their niche. They just really, we all just really need to find ourselves. We need to just be really authentic in our creativity. Um, And that, especially in this time, can take a little bit of um, work and time to uncover because the thinking, the type of thinking that we we have and that um, has preceded us, this is 2022, uh, is, is just divides us and separates us from our authenticity, from our being. And, you know, now there's a movement to definitely, it's, a, it's an inner movement, it's a, uh, an evolution, I believe, to move more into um, alignment with the beingness, the, the, who we really are, and understand the... Um, there's so much to understand about that and that's what comes before the the doing and that's what comes before your style emerges or what what you know what you might call your style you don't um you know create a style uh when you're painting so much as your your style your inner being expresses itself through you and it does that in a consistent way even if you're not trying Um, and that becomes a body of work and that body of work has a similar feel to it and it, it looks like you and it has you in it and um has the imprint of you in it. It can't not have it. Actually, everything does. But when you get really focused and strong in your true center, it becomes more distilled, like um, you know, like a fine wine or a very refined jewel. So, lo and behold, like I found my niche, my niche my niche or my niche and I didn't try to do that you can't try to it just emerges out of your journey as you explore everything from technique to just living your life and then bringing that to your canvas or your paper or whatever it is that you're creating um so uh it happened that I also was just really most interested in focusing on flowers. And I began uh, my work with, I, I've always been painting flowers, but I really began painting in the, I think it was the mid 90s, mid to late 90s, I started the work called Exquisite Paintings on the Nature of Flowers. And so that body of work is now in phase two and it's been going on for quite a long time and so um the flowers have become an integral part of what some people might call my my niche or my style but it's more than that and i expect to continue with it and it just deepens it's always exciting 
you know you're on the right track when you have the excitement inside and you're always discovering something new and it's just exciting and you want to create and you're you're a palette and your easel and your you know your drawing table call you in the morning <laughs> and you know you want to just run to your studio first thing to see what's what's going on and what it has to tell you and what your night of sleep has put in place for you for the day that following day so for all of you for any of you who may be longing to find your niche it's really just following your bliss you know and um, discerning between those things that you want to choose that are not the right thing and those things that you want to choose that are that more still quiet voice that beckons you to the um Toward the dire- in the direction of where you know that the real you wants you to go. So, uh, of course, that's a that's a job to discern that um, throughout your life. But you get better at it, and then it surprises you sometimes, and um, and you'll see. So that's what I have to say for now. I'll see you again soon.